With Carice and Daniel. Yeah. Well, speaking of bands with ambitious, you know, who I think are influenced by progressive rock. We're this. We're going to do a metal song now because if you want to talk about apocalypse, you got to deal with heavy metal. Oh yes, of course. So oh, brace, brace yourself. Brace yourself. I, you might really like this. This is Metallica in their thrash hmm. phase and at their most progressive rock. This is the most instrumentally ambitious period. Mm-hmm. And I want to let you hear the whole song, including the instrumentals, because it really, I think it really conveys what they're talking about. Um, and it's the first song off of their and justice for all album from 1988 or 89 and uh called blackened which is not about a cajun shrimp recipe but uh <laughs> but rather yeah great uh rather about the end of the world and just check okay. out how they it's a it's really symphonic uh the way they build this and this is the album that got me into Metallica. And I would listen to this album every day. I would fall asleep to this album. I would speak Wow, to really? Oh, yeah. This album calmed my mind. Wow. <laughs> so you can hear the classical influence right off the bat, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I can hear very much that Metallica sound. It's a lot more uh, melodic than Slayer. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. I don't even, I don't know how to count it. That's in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Like in the air, with the ripple sand, throwing all you see into obscurity. Death and mother, never a rebirth. Evolution's in, never will it be. Tempo change. Hmm. I'm imagining falling to sleep to this. How that would be. But there's so much repetition, it ends up being a bit like a drone, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
must have been great to be their drummer. Oh my god. Yeah, the double kick drum. He's uh, Danish, actually. Oh. Lars, o- Lars Ulrich. Right. This is the line that I remember first hearing. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. I mentioned doing a choreography on this. Here is <laughs> God. Well, the chorus talks about the whipping dance of the dead. So you can imagine the hellfire. There's something austere and beautiful about it to me. Mm. in concert like all of the songs they play it note for note the solo exactly the same no. lyrics the last time a little bit. And then you wake up. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom? So <obviously> Remember, the... <laughs> sorry, it makes me think of um, Tootsie when uh, it's completely out of the uh, off topic, but when Tootsie, the Dustin Hoffman's in his bed and he, no, ah, Bill Murray's in his bed and, 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 my, and Dustin Hoffman is in front of his bed showing his, his look as Tootsie for the first time or as yeah. Dorothy Michaels. And Bill Murray turns around, wakes up, and he's like, Mom? <laughs> Sorry, that, that reminded me of that. Anyway. You know, I've never seen Tootsie. <gasps> I've seen bits, bits of it, but I've never seen the whole thing. Oh, but you'd love that. I know. I'm sure I would. You'd so, love that. Anyway. The, the, there's, there's almost something nursery rhyme-ish about the lyrics. It's, it's very austere. Uh, it's very simple. You know, mm-hmm. the the rhymes come, they're just couplets. Blackened is the end. Winter it will send. You know, nuclear winter. Throwing all you see into obscurity. Death of Mother Earth, never a rebirth. Evolution's end, never will it mend. Never. I mean, it almost sounds like a poem from someone in sixth grade or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, his lyrics often do, but it works mm-hmm. so well set to music. Mm. You know, da ga da ga da da ga da ga da <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. doesn't sound like much of a melody but it no. actually really really works and he's very good at fitting lyrics into into short bursts he he writes often he writes the guitar part first james hetfield mm-hmm. and then he'll just sing something he will just do what i just said da, ba, da, ba, da. there are tapes of him writing songs and then he finds the words to go with it which i think yeah. is a really cool method of songwriting I learned a lot of words 
new words from listening to this album. So obscurity, um, yeah. what a, never more I'd never heard before, premonition, mm -hmm. uh, later in the world, later <laughs> smoldering, um, later in the album, he talks about megalomania, um, nadir. Uh, what is that? The lowest point at the nadir of something. It's the opposite oh. of the peak. Um, nadir. Yeah. What else? Uh, infanticide. I have no <laughs> idea what that means. Uh, the killing of children. Uh, oh, oh, infanticide. Okay, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah, 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 now yeah. I can see the word in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dementia. So anyway, I I love just the vocabulary stuff. But you know, death of Mother Earth, never a rebirth. Evolution's end. Never will it mend. It's really stark. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like this could be like an extinction rebellion, like. Mm. part of a manifesto of like, this is what we're facing. Yeah. Blackened is the end. Color our world blackened. It's like a much darker version of paint it black by the yeah. Rolling Stones. Yeah. Darkest color, blistered earth, true, de true death of life. There's absolutely, he's, he's leaving no room for uh, ambiguity, callous, frigid, chill, nothing left to kill. Uh, and then this section in the middle, when it slows down, all these uh, four-syllable words, these Ishan and Asian rhymes, opposition, contradiction, premonition, compromise, agitation, violation, mutilation, planet dies, termination, expiration, cancellation, human race. Talk about cancel culture. We're canceling ourselves. Expectation, liberation, population laid to waste. See our mother put to death. See our mother die. And when I first heard it, I'm like, are they talking about like killing your mother? No, they're talking about Mother Earth. Yeah. And it's it's plaintive and mournful, even as it's aggressive and hostile. So that's what I love. Metallica at their best. Mm. There, was a, there was a deep emotion, a despair and a, a stark um willingness to look at the darkness and then putting all the emotion into the music and finding just the right amount of lyrics to to paint the picture hmm. i mean this is about nuclear war no i mean this is a 10 minute thing probably yeah. probably it could be about nuclear war it could be about a sudden or me to your eyes well 10 minutes yeah, still no, but, it, but it does but you know but words like you know, lyrics like darkening in vain, decadence remains. There's something about our folly and our decadence. Uh, and at and again, like I said, what he often does in songs that have choruses is the last chorus, he'll double it and he'll change the lyrics slightly the second time to drive mm -hmm. something. Home. And here, fire, normally it's fire to begin whipping dance of the dead, which conjures images of, you know, demons in hell but then he switches it fire is the outcome of hypocrisy darkest potency in the exit of humanity color color our world blackened so that's even more um explicit mm. it's not just an image it's like this is the outcome of our hypocrisy this is our darkest potency our power to destroy ourselves you know yeah kind of it's close as close to the moral of the story as we're going to get but it's kind yeah. of the take it's kind of the takeaway you know yeah yeah and they weren't you know and they they had a song on their second album ride the lightning from 1984 called fight fire with fire where they explicitly said um the first lyrics are do unto others as they um as they done to you, but what the hell is this world coming to? Um, throw our universe into nothingness. Nuclear warfare will lay us to rest. Hmm. You know, it it feels like a protest song, but it's kind of just a. I don't think it's meant as, wake up, everybody. We need to save the earth. It's more just, it's young guys in their early twenties, looking at the world we're facing and singing about what they see and yeah, somehow yeah, yeah. to me that's very emotionally stirring yeah not that it's gotten me out onto highway a12 or whatever you said to to block trucks but it's well <laughs> yeah but you have a what string string thing to do 
That's true. I got to write string. I got to write string parts for my for my very important musical. I'm curious because you know heavy metal. You've said it's not your genre. You you know mm -hmm. this is probably not what you would choose to listen to to calm yourself down or to go to sleep. But what's your experience listening to a song like this and reading the lyrics? Well, that lyrics help me make it less sort of sound like a primal male alpha male aggression thing you know that is right. how it comes across for me if i don't hear the lyrics but then when i when i feel like it's actually someone's trying to say something in a way that is not my way but it's i, I can relate to what they're saying it's a different language but it's i get it uh yeah again like the 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 the, the 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 language is maybe not mine but i can really appreciate it, it i wouldn't fall asleep to it probably <laughs> but i can see what you mean I, I i and i can even appreciate the um sort of complexity of the music and and the sort of uh uh un, unexpectedness of it yeah um and you know i think but I know I, I probably know two songs made by Metallica, probably the, you know, the, the, the ballads and then one other song and that's it. <laughs> no, but nothing, I did, else, nothing else matters. Nothing else Sandman. matters. And, and the other Sandman. one? Enter Sandman. I don't know what that. We're off to like. Never Never Land. Exit Light. Enter night. You know that one? Anyway. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I do know that. Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean that and that and, and that is even sort of yes, vaguely familiar. Oh, that was a radio hit. That was their big right. that was when that was when heavy metal busted into into like like real metal busted onto the radio. But I think it also has to do and maybe this is an excuse, but no, maybe it, it's it is an excuse that um because it's a different language, I, you know, I, I, Great. when I was younger, I didn't even sort of probably really even understood what they were saying. Well, it's hard. I, I it's hard to understand it without the lyric sheet. That's fine. Next time I'll bring you some Dutch, uh, Satan worshiping metal and you'll just love it. because It's in your language. <laughs> yes, exactly. That, exactly. The, that's what I'm the gonna... kind of metal, the kind of metal where they sing like this. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, like the, the exercise.